So we look for the fuel of the mind or the ego. It is only one. Our doership. Our thinking that I am doing and this I am doing can never go away. If all actions are born out of my intense desires because then definitely it is your doership. If I have desired for something intensely then it is my doership, isn't it? That's what this strong identity with doership arises because of desires. Things happen in life, but when you have a strong desire, things can happen the way you desire or things can happen exactly the opposite way and your desires are not fulfilled. Even when the desires are not fulfilled, you are still in bondage. Your doership becomes stronger. Some people I have seen, when the desired object is not gained, they put more energy an intense desire to get to it. And if you don't get it, then there can be unhappiness of not getting it. Whether you get it or not doesn't matter for your freedom because both are bondage. Bhagavan says, desirelessness is wisdom. Vedanta is the most practical thing. Reading a scripture of Vedanta and knowing this is not going to help. We have to practice it all the time. That's why it is not like other types of meditation, you sit for 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Here you have to question the one who does all those things, even spiritual endeavors. Who is that?
they say ego is the last to release ego goes with us too long on this path of spirituality or any path you take it stays too long and so the practice stays too long and so the real freedom takes time so path of self inquiry questions this seeker the one who is practicing who am i am i that pure awareness uninvolved asking this question honestly within will give you an answer will make you more vigilant you will be more awake and in that more vigilance and awake state you can realize your true nature you can be just aware without doership and you will not claim anything what body is doing and mind mind thinks but who allows it to think so much only desires some people are so scared that if they don't have desires or doership then they might turn into a stone they will not move because all our conditioning is like a machine which has to continue working we are slave of our own mind slavery of mind is to worship whatever pointer you pick up and you apply in your life can lead you to freedom whether it is desirelessness whether it's non doership whether it is not attaching to your thoughts or whether getting rid of ego ego is none other than doership doership comes with desires and all these desires give rise to thoughts which we call as mind whatever you can understand and can practice all the time can get you to the stillness within this question who am i is not a mantra you keep saying who am i who am i you just need to know once who are you that pure stillness where there is no doership when you find this space within you when you have recognized your true place you just stay there now the second step comes when any strong desire for or against a being situation or a thing arises whether you can stay there
how much efforts are needed not to get dragged away with old habits you know religious person is always having subtle ego because he belongs to a religion he has pride of his religion he has some conditioning of it but awareness has no religion it is beyond all groupism it moves alone it is its own support so many times we are traveling while driving your mind is somewhere else you cross all the traffic lights you take turns and you reach destination even without remembering where you were going what you were doing so much autopilot if your mind was so important at that moment then you can't even cross one traffic light it is as if at subconscious level some intelligence knows where to stop where to turn while the mind is somewhere else bring that mind which is somewhere else to this pure scene this movement is only from head to your heart we stay here this upper story is is all what doership is construction achievement peace is here in your heart always there if you stay here mind will come searching for you here you don't have to find mind and bring it and control power of your own true seeing is so much so that it it attracts your mind and your mind merges in it you just have to be still in your stillness sleep in that stillness move in that stillness even at night the dream comes in that stillness that stillness doesn't come and go once you have found it never leaves it is you mind can leave body can leave emotions can change but remember there is one emotion of this awareness which you can call bliss or peace unchanging unaffected by external situations
end result of human evolution is not your achievements or what you have created in this world. It is coming back home. And whatever the destiny has planned for this body to do will be done. Who are you to take credit or discredit? All anxiety, all stress comes only in this role playing. Some people ask, how would I know that I'm free? Or the moment it will happen, you cannot miss it. When our interaction with mind has ceased, When our interaction with the word as a doer has disappeared, when you don't possess anything, If you see Bhagawan's teaching, he hardly spoke anything. Sometimes people were asking questions and he didn't respond it to all questions. He understood the absurdity of so many questions because answering those questions will lead to more questions. He believed in that silence, that stillness emanating from him, if that can teach anything to people around him. If our liking is for that stillness, for that peace, then we will start disengaging ourselves with all thoughts
I recently met a person who just want to stay alone. He says that he finds very difficult to interact with any human being. One to one is still okay. But when there is a group, he finds it so hard. So many times he lives in his car. He loves his guitar, he stays alone and he says, I'm in perfect peace. While there are people who have this syndrome called as form of fear of missing out, they want to attend all engagements, all parties, networking, completely drowned in doership and ego. And then there are people who want to go to an island where they are alone. With people or without people, you can be in perfect solitude if you stay in your heart as what you really are, then whether people are around or not, it's not going to disturb you. Perhaps they can also get some peace To know this pure silence coming from your heart, you need to sit here for long enough. Whether you call it tapas or practice,
stay here don't run away don't look for excuses you want to attend a satsang people say oh i am too busy nowadays you know i have too many important things to do sorry i missed i was busy in this thing or that thing the mind keeps us busy all the time it is not the work which makes us busy it is our doership we think we are doing and i have to do and we don't know anything except mind to sort out things to live this life and everyone's mind speaks a different language so we look so different and behave differently and mind is only collection of previous events conditioned by our experiences so its guidance is very limited and its guidance cannot be trusted because wherever we have reached good or bad entangled it's because of that only now this tool is ineffective in our liberation or disentanglement if you see these tools all these sense organs mind it is always projecting outward it is to deal in this world to get involved to be free we just have to come to the source that undifferentiated awareness that's all and give up your relationship with all these tools like a tortoise you know if it draws his limbs goes back into its shell this is perfect and eternal solitude our heart when you know the sun and world awareness it takes away all ignorance all darkness it is like a pure light self shining self effulgent pure intelligence then you don't have to read books or scriptures to know it you are that then you are not dependent on your mind
Self is pure guidance. It is in harmony with what is will happen. You live in total acceptance of things. inner silence when you sit sit too long with it it becomes like a protective layer where no thought can stay no judgment can arise no likes or dislikes actually your observation power to discriminate things analyze criticize judge disappears they all come from that lower level of functioning called mind that comes from our fear to analyze to judge people to understand whether i should interact or not do this or not we are always in this dilemma sometimes we go for a thing one step forward and two step backward and then again decide to go we are always full of doubts we are a bit paranoid because of conditioned mind it has its own limitations so we all carry certain personalities working in association with mind when you have nothing to protect this body 
in that fearless mode you are not working for this body so that mind which is supporting the body disappears and you know your true nature as that awareness which is everywhere so you know others more than they know you know that everyone is that same pure awareness no one is less or more at level of brahman we are all same equal without any difference knowing ourselves we know everything in the deepest way in real way understand whatever we are doing does not hold the key to freedom only your stillness within is freedom some people don't have even one minute to stay still without doing anything sitting alone engaged with thoughts planning next and next and next we are creating our own bondage all the time one time i was speaking to david godman if you don't know he has lived in india and has taken care of ashram library written books he has beautiful videos one thing he said about freedom was that not picking up new task and new task and new responsibilities because with every task you pick up in ego mode it becomes a bondage
and without ego thousand tasks can come to you but nothing is bondage if you are a man of action and you want to continue doing it then first find this true place where there is no doership and if things comes later to you perhaps your destiny then it's not going to affect you give all importance to this stillness within take interest in it if your search is intense you will find it it is always there it is also waiting for you to know it's not playing any hide and seek with you we are interested in millions of things around us and want to know everything but no interest in our own self and don't want to know it this is the only reason why we don't know it the moment we have interest in knowing our self it manifest it is already there when you have darshan of your own self you cannot stop from crying you feel how pure i am and what all doership has led me to do all sorts of mischievous things in spite of all i was never that I am that pure Brahman that supreme bliss and you become a devotee a bhakta and you praise that energy you become your own devotee because all what we were looking was some happiness in acts of doing or achieving now you have got infinite happiness within you without doing anything action or no action it stays the same and it does not get less or more 
because it is infinite. It is more than a jackpot, readily available not just to you, for anyone who wants to experience or be in it. Because you are no more an individual. Start rejecting all thoughts. Don't pick and choose. Don't categorize good thoughts and bad thoughts. Pay attention to the silence only. And see how beautifully this silence will take over everything. If the process is gradual, you will notice less thoughts, more silence, more peace. And then only pure silence. What practice is it? Only your interest, your longing, your attention to it. And what is the other part of practice? You have no interest in all this drama unfolding. Zero interest. All thoughts are like your friends who take an old alcoholic again to the bar to have few drinks and you're not interested. In this way these thoughts come. But if you have no interest, no thought can come to you. You have only given fuel to the fire. This fuel is desires. Real worship of any God is to be that, rather than putting an image or a name on an altar and behaving at ego level. That is much easier. 
be there. Abide in your pure stillness. Without engaging in any thought for any reason, abide in your pure bliss. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.